Hi and welcome back to My Round Robin. Today we're going to dive into Google Analytics. Uh, this is where we start looking at traffic sources. Uh, this is a, a piece of tracking code created by Google that it's installed into your website itself and uh, it allows you to obtain data on visitors, um, the demographics, what browser they're using, where the, the location of where they're coming from in the, on the, in the, in the US, whether it's in national, international. I mean the traffic is segmented and broken down by Google and it gives you a really good idea of uh, what your, how your site's performing. Uh, everything from user experience to you know uh, exactly what keywords your content is is uh, getting ranked for due to the queries and like how people are finding you. So it's like really the whole um, you know the enchilada of in analytics. It's awesome. It's it really gives you uh, guidance uh, when you're doing uh, when you're doing a marketing campaign and uh, it gives you a good idea of what your user experience is. So some of the basic things we want to look at today. Is we're gonna we're gonna understand some of the basic data that they provide when you first log into your dashboard, but then we're also going to dive into uh, just some basic traffic sources, so you can start seeing some of those places that we submitted to are hopefully uh, referring traffic, and then we can kind of see what the game plan is. Then I mean the goal, if you look at it like this, is to increase your your sources. And uh, and by doing that, you increase your traffic, which is users and clicks, visitors. And uh, once they return, once they actually show up on your website, we want to make sure that we can continue to uh, engage them. And that's where the whole bounce rate and stuff comes in. So um, when you go to Google.com/analytics, go ahead and sign in. And uh, once you uh, click on your domain name, there should be a link to it right when you sign into Google Analytics. It's going to take you to a dashboard that looks like the one on my screen. First thing you're going to see is uh, visits, which is actually uh, unique. That's how that's how many visits the site's had. It's 3,845 on this particular user case. Um, to page per visit, that's pretty much how deep they go into your site. In this case, it's an average of about three pages. Um, it's not a huge site. It has some basic stuff like you know jobs available. It's uh, actually headmatcher.com, and uh, it, it has some other uh, other basic info like testimonials and then the services so it's um, it's not like a shopping cart or an e-commerce e store or, um, a site that would have a lot of content where people would spend a lot of time on there but it's uh, it's still something that you want to create N enough good content to where you allow them to dig deeper uh, the average visit is when you'll see you know basically how long people are spending on the site it's a couple minutes it's not outstanding. Probably could be better if we had some more incentive-based campaigns going on, something to kind of uh, allow them to um, to stay on the site. People use all kinds of techniques. They use uh, games, the gaming environment. They have polls, job boards. Uh, I mean, if the content's compelling enough, people will will stay to read it, which will you know sometimes go push push your uh, not your bounce rate, but push your uh, site duration, your average visit duration up. Um, on the far right, you're going to see a bounce rate. In this case, it's 50%. It's not bad. It's getting better. Uh, I think this site started around 85%. We've been reducing it by adding uh, more and more content and, and more clear navigation. Uh, a lot of sites I've seen are 95 to 97%. This is a killer. Uh, it bounce rate is going to be high for one of two reasons. The user experience is either poor or you're just driving the wrong traffic there. So. A lot of times I see high bounce rates for people that are doing paid advertising because they don't take the time to make sure they do enough research on where their customer is and they just do more of a shotgun approach and throw traffic. And a lot of times that, that's bad because it does deteriorate your, your, your bounce rate and it gives you a lot of falsified data that doesn't give you a good, a good understanding of exactly what's really happening on your site because you're sending the wrong traffic. So our goal is to get targeted traffic then once we get the targeted traffic, what keywords did they come through? What traffic sources are performing? And then how deep are they going on the site? What specific pages are receiving more activity? So you can start getting the understanding. But um, as we go on, we'll constantly be revisiting uh, as part part of our task on a, on a Monday. We'll be diving more into analytics and saying, okay, month two, here's our performance. Here's some things and some indicators we need to look at. So in this case, check your bounce rate and uh, in your visits and if your bounce rates over 85 percent 
on your analytics. You should uh, maybe just shoot us a message at support or contact uh, one of our partners that are on the site that understands site usability to, uh, to, to visit your site's overall uh, conversion, which is basically how many people are going there and, and are they calling or not. And that's the end goal is to make sure that people are taking action. So when you go into uh, your main dashboard, you go ahead and scroll down. On the left-hand side, you're going to see traffic sources. In this case, you just want to click on it, and it's going to open up the menu and just uh, click under Sources. It says Overview, Sources, Search Engine Optimization, and Social. Go ahead and click on just Sources and then All Traffic, and it's going to bring up a pretty large list. In this case, we have over 200 sources for this website. So uh, bottom right, it says Show Rows 10, 1 through 10. Just go ahead and pop it up to 250 or however many sources you have so you can just scroll through and it's a lot easier to read the information. Uh, in this case, Google Organics sent over 1,800 people. Uh, direct traffic, Google Ads sent 131. LinkedIn.com for this uh, recruiting site sent over 111 people and they're at a 24% bounce rate. So those people spent over five minutes on the site and they hung around. That's, that's a solid traffic source. So LinkedIn is something that, uh, that for this website is, is, uh, is a gem. Uh, indeed, uh, it's funny you go through here. Hot Frog, you remember we did a submission there that sent 15 users. Uh, let's see, Comcast. Let's see if there's another one. PRLeap.com. We will be doing a submission to a press release outlet over the next three weeks, probably. And uh, I, I haven't, did, I think two to three weeks, depending on preparation time, I want to give you guys. And PR sources are awesome. They, they definitely. They definitely up your traffic. So if you look at the, the concept is what we're trying to do with this is the more traffic sources we can obtain, the more traffic we get, the more the more off page traffic sources that we submit our content to, the more links back we get, which is going to push us up in the search engines, which are j basically just the traffic source. So it's all about leveraging multiple channels in order to get the most success out of um, uh, all, all sources that are available. I mean, that means social sources, review sources, uh, off-page article sources, press releases, and so on. So, and then it comes down to a mathematical equation where, okay, here are all the sources that we've submitted to over time. Here's our performance from those. It's going to give us a lot of keyword re referring keywords. We're going to understand where our conversions are coming from, what types of keywords, which will give us a better idea of our overall content direction for this campaign. Um, so log into your analytics, do some research. Let's obtain our bounce rate. Let's review our traffic sources that we've uh, and see if we can s some of those directories that we submitted to and or uh, you know our organic traffic in Google. See if it's starting to improve. If you're a brand new web website, you're not going to see as many sources just due to the, the age of your domain and just being kind of new in the game. Um, a lot of the links, as far as that's concerned, um, when you submit are sometimes they take a long time to get validated. By Google to get recognized, so you have to con you have to con constantly add new links, and, and we will be doing that on an ongoing basis. That's part of our I mean, it's the strength of our campaigns. The backbone of SEO is is building links, and a lot of people have different methodology. Like some people go out and they buy a lot of links, and that's 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 been red flagged m numerous times and numerous occasions over the years. The strongest way to build links, uh, and within my methodology, is to 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 leverage articles and good content. Because your share rate's going to go high, Google recognizes that, and your and your and your actual the original content itself and the links embedded in it are really going to help the performance. So uh, for today's lesson, yeah, take a look at it. If your if your bounce rate's high, consult with an expert. Whether that's sending us an email at support or going to our partner page, um, and uh, and contacting one of our partners to analyze your page and say. So at least get some consultation, improve this, change this banner, change this color, or who knows, you may need a full site re redesign. Uh, it just, it just, you know, the data doesn't lie. So um, anyway, we hope, um, we hope your bounce rates are low. We hope your conversions are high and the sources are increasing and we'll see you, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.